So Kelly, I know you saw Just Mercy this week, yeah. and I did not get to see it. I would really like to see it. So tell me why I should see it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Um. I. I loved this movie. I will say I wept through the entire movie. Um, oh boy. <laughs> it, it's tough. It's. I mean, it is a tough subject. I mean, wrongful incarceration. Um, it, and it, it also dealt with just the impact of incarceration in general and a lot of the problems with our prison system. And mm -hmm. so there was, um, I mean, the story focuses on Jamie Foxx and his, the um, Johnny D, his character, who did not commit the crime. And I mean, it's it's in Alabama, and you know, all they needed it was. I, I mean, it exposed just how corrupt and racist the system was and continues is. to be. Yeah. Um, and so it, it was a tough thing to confront. I mean, looking at like. Um, I mean the the organ the Michael B. Jordan's character um, Brian Stevenson is a real person, and he started the Equal Justice Initiative. It is a real organization. They have gotten 140 people, you know, reduced their sentences, gotten them off death row because they were wrongfully convicted, and that's it's that's fantastic. an alarming error rate. Yeah. And and the film actually ends with a. Th um, with the information that like one out of nine people on death row has been exonerated either before or after death. And so it's that's like, that's much. a horrible yeah. rate of error. Um, yeah. And so, I mean, it really looked at like, should we even have the death penalty? I mean, mm -hmm. as you know, I think that was the heart of the film um, because it, it really looked at just how horrifying it is and the impact on the person who's wrongfully convicted in Johnny D's case um there was also somebody who like readily admitted that he did what he did but he was he had a mental illness and like mm -hmm. there was no consideration given to that um and that was actually the most horrifying moment of the film is he goes to the electric chair and mm -hmm. it's it's an intense moment and um that's almost what i loved about the film was it it was kind of like, look at this and don't look away. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and that, um, I'm like ready to cry just talking about it because it really was this, like, you're going to look at this and we're going to look at it. We're not going to flinch and we're not going to let you look away the whole film. Um, and so it was, it was very intense and just emotionally devastating in yeah. a lot of ways. But to me, it felt like such an incredibly important film. One, um, Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx, um, to me, the fact that they have not gotten Oscar nods is... It's a crime. It's a crime. Uh, it's, it's, it's horrible. They, it was, they were both incredible performances. They were incredibly subtle and nuanced and some of the best acting I've seen. Wow. Um, and so the fact that they haven't gotten Oscar nods to me is just, I mean, like, hashtag Oscar's so white, like, mm -hmm. I'll just say it. Um, it, it I'm really disappointed that they haven't gotten Oscar nods. Um, and two, I mean, it was just, I think it was an incredible treat to meet the character of Brian Stevenson. He was actually one of the executive producers of the film. Really? Um, and, and, and I listened to a really interesting interview with him that he said, like, basically, I feel like if people had seen what I've seen over the course of my career, they would change their minds about our criminal justice system. And for me, it, this film did it um, yeah. because, like, I've always known it was a problem, but it was just the the intensity of the film and just how you got to know these prisoners and their families and and you know everything Brian Stevenson was up against um, and you know and it still is um, and so it was I think it was a remarkable film um, I think it was a treat to get to meet you know a, a real life person who I mean a lot of the promotions have said like. I mean, the tagline sometimes is like, Hero just mercy, heroes exist. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was really neat that it's, you know, in the age of superheroes and the Avengers and Justice League and Wonder Here's Woman and all of that, uh, yeah. to have a real life superhero. And I mean, like, I think Michael B. Jordan just did a great job showing like the incredible person he is and, and how hard it is to do what he does. Um, that sounds like a really inspiring story too, not yeah. just 
horribly, horribly sad, yes. but also like there's kind of a light at the end. Yeah, absolutely. In the fact that he's still around and he is making he's big, still massive fighting. things. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely, absolutely. And so it's, it, I just thought it was an incredible film, and you know, both the filmmaking itself, but also the social impact that I hope this film has. Um, I really, really hope it does its job and like draws a lot more attention to this issue and and to the equal justice initiative and all the incredible work they're doing so um, you know my background actually like my master's thesis was about film as an advocacy tool um, and this one I just I walked out of this being like this is this perfection is yeah oh. this is perfection um, right. so yeah I really I highly highly recommend it it's a difficult film to watch but it is it's worth the time I, I think it's a really important film for everybody to see well you've convinced me thank you Phoebe. <laughs> And uh, if you had to rate it, what would you give it? Oh, man. I honestly, I think um, we've talked about this, reserving five stars for a perfect film. Mm -hmm. I would give it five stars. Really? I really, really loved it. Wow. I really, really loved it. And I well, think that, it's that is a ringing endorsement. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you, Phoebe. And thank you guys for watching.